Hey guys, Zuldin here, and welcome back to another episode of Pixar. <laughs> yes, Squishy, it's good to be back. I have been digging. I mean digging. Um, most of the last few episodes I've done were been pretty straightforward without that much work in between. But uh, this was a little bit different. Like, I really put some time in on this one. So, I uh, I ended up clearing out the top of the the setup that we had because it was uh, I love the way the smoke just plumes up into the air from my furnace down below um so I had uh I had quite a bit of digging that I wanted to do just to to I guess to square this off and <laughs> y'all saw from the last thumbnail that I did a little bit of decor so it's uh it's not that much but it's it's cool I like it and um I think that is going to be the running theme like the stone walls with the stone um blocks actually and some of the marble and it I think it looks good like that so uh these I still want to do some a little bit of accent work on them maybe like some lines in them and stuff uh but right now I'm just getting the shell fleshed out I'll I'll worry about decorations a little bit later me and whiskers have been putting in work man putting in work I I stored a whole bunch of stuff and we already have a bunch of stone I did a bunch of marble work and I cleared out a little bit of this space right here uh, so that I can I can start storing dinos if I don't have my base fleshed out by the time I tame something new because I'm still I'm still prepping for packs and stuff like that but I got guys that want to collab and I want to collab and I want to do some more taming and not just building back to back to back to back you know um, but I like the way it came out we I squared it off I, I didn't do much here all I did is uh, kind of just um, continue the foundations to the back right there and in here. I just squared this off, sealed it. I am a little short when it comes to the flag and this globe. Either that or it was crazy. Nippy, I could put ceilings above him, but I couldn't put ceilings above the um, the alchemy stove. So it's it's weird. Like the hitbox is pretty deceptive. But anyway, uh, I figured that I would kind of give you guys a tour. And uh, I've been I've been doing a little bit of of berry and and crop gathering. Uh, I got some stems that I planted and some wheat. I need to I need to really pick them. But today I want to work on a tree farm. Now I've been growing trees here and there in inside. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my light hat on now. Where is it? Uh, why don't <laughs> why don't I see? Well, like, there it is. Hey, I, I know, Squishy. Why didn't you tell me where it was, baby? Anyway, um, so right over here, I'm going to have a little setup that goes out forward. Now, I have to test this to make sure I can actually plant trees out here and them being hydrated. I know the water's right here, but I'm still not accustomed to uh, <laughs> to the game as, as much as I'd like to be. Plus... I'd like to see how far it comes out. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is just... Let's see. Ouch! You stupid. You scared me more than anything. My spear will do you in in no time. But man, that scared me. It's just out of nowhere. Oh! <laughs> okay. Um, so, it looks like I can place pretty far out here. I thought there was a limit on how far you can place. So the trees, the magic trees specifically take up two by two. And I know this is just regular dirt, but we're going to be putting some magic dirt down too. Well, because I'd like to kind of keep the waterway open. So maybe we just square this off now. And I'll, I'll shape it a little bit afterwards. Got to kind of watch my stamina here. And the Argents above head. <laughs> I see you up there. And voila. All right. We're in. Um, what are you doing, Procoptodon? That's a kind of weird place for you to be. I wonder how many spear pokes it takes in your behind. So, oh, he got mad. He got... Uh, come on. Come ah, <laughs> Hadouken! Oh, that's sorry. That's the fireball sound. He's so close, man. 
Come on, pro copy. Right on the cusp of your booty. Dang it. He's out. <laughs> I can't catch him. All right. So that's a pretty decent area for a, uh, a tree farm, I do believe. And I'm going to do it kind of like I did this. I'm going to encase it in glass. Um, but it's going to lead to the entrance. So I just don't have enough hill to do it uh, on this side. And I want my dino storage on the other side. That's why I decided to go here with it. So um, we want... I want... What I think I'm going to do is regular trees and magic trees because the magic trees is going to take quite a bit to do what I normally want to do because those arrows take a lot of mage weave bark and uh, I need the ability to be able to uh, to put some of that down. So um, they take up a two by two area, I do believe, as well. So what I'd like to do is play around a little bit with spacing and see exactly what I could do with the trees and the magic dirt, like regular trees and magic dirt, and find a little setup. Okay, so bear with me for just a moment while I set down some dirt. And now, I guess what I'll do is set some magic dirt down too. Okay. So let's do... Let's just surround this with magic dirt and see where we're at. I took whiskers out and grabbed quite a bit of this stuff and marble. And I kind of tore up the terrain out there, but I'm going to be doing some terraforming later. I'm watching you, sucker. I am watching. Don't you think I won't get Harame and come beat you up? I will do it. I will do it. I'm eventually going to tame one of those. Um, but I, um, I have a few people that haven't tamed them yet as a, as I haven't as well. So, uh, probably going to end up collabing that. Let's see. Okay. So we got a little bit of magic dirt and a little bit of regular dirt. So the magic dirt supports, uh, for two by two, I think is what the, the tree seeds are. Let's see. I might as well just put that here. Okay. So, it, it spaces on one just like this. But you can't space another one as far as I know. So, how about this? Let's go quickly and grab a regular tree seed. I think I might have more magic tree seeds. But I don't think so. I might need to go get some. That's okay. That's what we got a stego for. Okay, we got plateau tree seeds. Good. And there's uh, mist tree seeds. We got a, a couple different kinds here. All right. I'll grab my stego. I picked up another one uh, just in case as well. Uh, well, wrong, wrong deal. I picked up another stego just in case um, because it's, it's, it's so vital to be able to, to gather crops and stuff. All right, uh, let's see here. Stego Potato. This is my spare right here, a level 25. Nothing real major, but uh, pretty good. Okay, so, oh, did I grab a saddle? My Stegosaurus saddle, beautiful. All right, I'm a little way down right now. Little way down. Um, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Let's let's put a little bit of dirt up. I think that's probably what I need to do. I have quite a bit of it on me. Um, oh, you know what? I'll put some stone up right now. There we go. I, Chester filling up, man. I had to make some changes. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So, magic tree seeds are what we're going to need. We might as well just go up top in the regular entrance. Take the gargoyle out. That'll be the easiest way. Ah. Beautiful day out. <laughs> I love the way <laughs> the stone gargoyles look in the statue floor, man. Really, really amazing. All right. Uh, mage weave tree seeds are what we need. So we just need a pork 
where there's an abundance of trees. I'm not really worried about uh, tree ants or anything. It shouldn't be fine. You, you can spot them. They have like magical glowing cores around. So it's not that bad though. Okay. Alrighty. Welcome, potato. Welcome on in, potato. Let's do some uh let's do some farming, shall we? Uh you're you're getting up there. Okay. Berry seeds. Are you not gonna grab the tree seeds? I uh, see that you get magic fiber. Oh, we might have to just do some re Oh no, squishy! That wasn't the squishy, it was a slime. Dang. He hadn't ascended yet to squishy level. Oh man, so you can't get regular tree seeds. You could get the berry seeds, which I needed anyway, but this is not going to be ideal. So we're just going to have to grab tree seeds. So we don't really need the magic wood for anything, but the mage weave bark we kind of do. So let's go ahead and take all of this, and we're going to convert you to pix block. Okay. Grab you. And Storhala can hold all this stuff. Think. Storhala's already got a lot of stuff on. What's weight? 612? Man, you weigh a lot, potato. You like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, instead of doing it right here, there is, right across the way where the desert's at, there is another bit of biome. Yeah, right over here. And... It's usually a little bit more passive. I find, well, there's a T-Rex stuck in the game. The T-Rexes get stuck in those caves quite often. I said it was passive, but they got gem spiders and all kind of stuff right here. Dang, bruh. I wonder if I could get me some, some fresh gems here. Nope. Doesn't look like it. He's gone. All right. Where's that cat? I, I should be able to chop these from the gargoyles back no not quite not quite am I getting seeds though that's the question I have not gotten seeds yet so just to make sure here I'm going to try first of all get out of here gem spider Get out of here. I am trying to do work, and you are disrupting me. All right. Oh, he's going to try to climb up and all kind of stuff. He is going to climb up. God dang it. Get down. He's going to climb all the way back up every single time, huh? I hate him. <laughs> dang it. All right. Let's try right here instead. So the uh, I want to try the the sickle out just to make sure it's not. Um, let's see. Uh huh. Dang it! That gem spider chased me all the way over here. You are aggravating little sucker, you stupid gem spider. It worked out perfect. <laughs> I had to kind of freestyle a little bit. All right. And I bet you were full. Huh? Just about. Sheesh. Okay. Um, where is my sickle now? There it is. Just for giggles, I'm going to hit it with this. Nothing. Not nothing. All right, I got a lot of mage weave bark from it. We're not really getting the seeds. Well, guys, I don't know what the deal was because now I'm getting tons of seeds. Look at that. I just got two from one tree. And 
and like some of them I was getting three and sometimes four. So I guess it's just a random amount of resources and a random type at the same time. The Stego, though, cannot get up, that's for sure. Because I broke quite a few trees. There's gem spiders all over the place. Let's go grab this one. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on, but I mean, I've got quite a few seeds now. So we can at least test what I wanted to test in the first place. The weather is awful, but that's no surprise. Pixar got bad weather, you guys. Pixar, weather in general is like the fog in Ark. Like, it always seems to be there, especially when you want to record. <laughs> All right. So, we'll just park Star Holler down here. Beautiful. All right. So, uh, now let's put the seeds. Got 14 of them. And literally didn't take me much time at all. Okay, so if we put one here, first of all, let's take a look at it. It says dehydrated, will die soon. Why? Why, why, why? It's in, it's basically in the water. I wonder if I have to irrigate no matter what. I'm going to try something. Let's do... Let's do a soil block... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do... Magic dirt. So let's do magic dirt, like, right here. And let's do one right here. All right. Uh, growing. Okay, so it just has to be even with the water. Which is so weird. So you have to build into the water. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> I really don't. Um, because the, the bad thing about that is when you build into the water, you can't fix it. You know? Man, I don't know. I guess, I guess it's not going to hurt. Maybe not as wide as I thought I was going to do it. Let's just Star Holly, you can you can relax right there. So man. I'm gonna um, maybe I'm just gonna border the uh the di no, I'm gonna come out with it. That's fine. I'm gonna come out with it like I wanted to. Um Yeah. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Cause I mean <laughs> the water's not gonna be used for anything. It's just going to be an entire level that's going to be done. I'll just dress it up and make it pretty, <laughs> and it'll be fine. Just so it's not square, you know? Completely square. It's got to look like a decorative feature. So it's not an eyesore. That's the whole deal. All right. You know what? Uh, another thing that I really love about this game... You don't have to pick up the blocks when you break them. <laughs> it's actually quite nice. You just you just mine it and you get the block. It just comes into your inventory, it stacks, and it's fine. That's beautiful, huh? All right. So we're going to have to go one down from where we were, which means it's going to go into the water. Now I'm going to shoot myself if this doesn't work correctly. So I'm going to start right here. Start hollow move, baby. Okay. Let's just go out with magic dirt for now. Just like this. That way, if this doesn't work, I'm close to the shore, and I could just kind of, you know, make it look, make it look like the mountain again. <laughs> okay. Um, so I should be able to place these very close to one another. Not every one, but every two. 
And they also kind of work like that um, to the side as well. So it takes up an extra space. I guess they don't overlap that much. And it's saying that it's growing. So that's good. That's what we want. Oh, I cannot go that close. All right. And I can probably do like one more right here. There we go. All right. It's such a weird looking deal, but it works. Okay. So now the question is, can I put regular dirt down and plant trees right next to it? That's what I wanted to know in the first place. So let's go ahead and put dirt down. Uh, I don't want to cover up the trees that I'm going to use. We'll put both of these trees just like so. All right. Because I can put plants. It lets me put, like, plants, I know. All right. There's a few of them just to test. So these does not look like I can place. Okay. Doesn't look like I could place these either. Huh. Okay. So it takes up quite a bit of space here. But I should be able to place here though. Oh, it's turning to clay the dirt. That's going to be interesting. I wonder if something's already planted in it, if it does the same thing. Um, <laughs> very interesting. Okay. So you can't plant the trees right next to one another. That's what's going on. No matter what kind of tree it is. I thought it was just the mage weave trees. And I have much more dirt than magic dirt. So that's why I'm using this, guys. Just like this. Okay. So we're probably going to do something in the middle between these things, too. Um, so let's see here. We're going to go with these right here. All right. That's pretty good. Okay. So yeah, when you when you put dirt in the water, sometimes it turns to clay. See how the water does? It drops level. It's no longer a source block. Kind of weird. That is going to turn into clay no matter what. wonder no that's not what I wanted <laughs> okay dang it man I'm gonna get it right sooner or later so now that this is not in the water anymore but it is adjacent to the water source just one block away though so let's try this now Dehydrated? No, it's growing. All right. Now I'm starting to get it. It has to be even. That's all. That's really all. Okay. So with these, I could plant Mage Weave again. I can. I sure can. Okay. I don't have a whole lot of um, of them left, but I'll finish out the row. There we go. And we'll do... We'll just get some seeds later. Yep, it can go right next to the end right there. I like it. Okay. So, granite... <laughs> This one is the hot... No, that one's growing. Okay, good. 
Well, we're just going to let that one grow. It's going to look kind of funny <laughs> right now, but I'm going to have the mage weave trees separate, I do believe. What I'll do is... Hmm. I guess I'm just going to go with... I had two blocks. Oh, hold on. Let me look at this. Let me up. Let me, let me up. I had two blocks. So I'll have two blocks of magic dirt right here. I don't know if I should separate that. I think I'm going to leave it with the water right there. And I'll just make some paths on the outside. Just like this. So... We can do the same thing right here. We can do nothing right there, honestly. And then we'll do dirt or mage weave just right here. And then we'll come out with dirt on the opposite side, two away from it. That way we can guarantee that it's being irrigated or the soil is moist. Because <laughs> really we're not we're not doing irrigation like with pipes and stuff. Uh, excuse me? Little guy? I'm kind of busy here. I know how to get rid of you. Just try to tame you. <laughs> Just try to tame you. That's all I would need to do. Okay. One more. There we go. All right. Got it. Now, we'll do two rows of dirt. I'm just doing this for symmetry sake, you guys. Just for symmetry sake. So the clay doesn't appear to change unless you put it next to the coast. Maybe it's maybe it has to have clay underneath it or something like that for it to recognize that it's going to be clay. It's an interesting mechanic to, to, to be sure. I think it's pretty cool. Okay. All right. And... Uh, We'll probably want to do one more row. How are we going to do it, though? So, we'll do it with the mage we... The, the purple bark right here. And we're running against just a regular two dirt again. So the edge doesn't really tell the same story over there, but honestly, we're going to have more regular trees than we will mage weave. At least right now, we can always convert it. Not like it'll be a big deal. I just wanted to follow some sort of pattern, you know? Trying to be careful so I don't mess up. And mess my water up, you know? And be efficient as possible. Okay. So, now I can actually run a walkway around this thing and make it pretty. We're going to have to do something that isn't so square, though. So... The weird thing about this is... Oh, actually, it's not weird at all. The foundation block is going to be one up from this. This is... Yeah, this is going to be strange because... Hmm. <laughs> we, I don't think we'll be able to use foundations immediately. We're going to have to play around with this because this is the thing. If I take this and then take it away... It's going to change just to put a foundation block on top, and I don't want to do that. 
So what I'm going to do, just square this off for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build the walkway on top. Then we'll put foundation on top of that. Then we'll put wall on top of that. And maybe we'll be able to manipulate it from there. So let's just see how this looks, okay? Do I have any foundations on me? I do not. I have ceilings and all sorts of other stuff, but... Uh, structures, yep. Okay. Foundations. Yeah, stone floors. We'll just use those for now. I, I ultimately want to use wood, uh, but I don't have any yet. I don't have any wood foundations made up yet. All right. I do have a wall on me, so I should be fine. All right. So, we'll set a foundation. Okay, and on top of that, we'll set a wall. Okay, so I can I can pull that away. Now, hmm. Maybe I can do ceilings instead. Yeah, cuz that isn't going to work. That is not going to work. I I'm going to have to go low. You can't attach walls to another wall from underneath that I know of. I'll I'll try just to make sure, but uh, let's see structures, walls. Actually, do I have the glass walls already made? I do. Okay. Um, and I'll get regular walls. No, that's the wrong one. Structures. Okay, fine stone walls and ceilings. Beautiful. All right. I have a variety of materials now. Okay. So, I could do ceilings. I could do foundations. I would have to do foundations on a lower level. That's okay though. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Okay. Foundation. And I should be able to do. I could do a wall here. And then I can do Can I just do a ceiling on top actually? No. Okay, so I have to do a wall first. And then I'll have to do So we're going to have to go one more down actually. One more. Okay. Foundation. Wall. Ceiling. And I can put a ceiling next to it now. Okay. So. Can I take ceilings out now? I can! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, I don't know how long they can go without support though. Okay, but first I need some fine ceilings because this this ain't gonna work. Let's go grab fine ceilings. Or we'll make some really quick. I have fine stone ceilings already. Good. Very good. Dang it! <laughs> Let me up, man. All right. Yeah. 
Oh, man. It's going to be different shaped, but I need to make sure I can come all the way out and border it like this. Yeah, I sure can. Now that I have my ceilings established, you know. Oh, and I can even place on top of the water. That is luxury. <laughs> so the weather's a little bad to show this off in, but I've been waiting for a little while, and this storm just won't let up. Uh, what I ended up doing is let me let me uh, let me be cold for a little while and just put uh, my light hat on. Um, what I ended up doing is getting this. Um, these foundations or these ceilings actually widened up. I didn't widen them up as much as I wanted to on this side yet. Um, I'm thinking about maybe four wide and going two in the middle with some sort of pathing, maybe marble or wood. I'm going to have to try a few different textures and maybe even some handrails on the outside. I would have also put some inside to kind of separate the trees, but some weird stuff happens. So remember how I was having issues inside the, uh, the crop farm with uh, dehydration? So you can see right here that this tree is mature growing, okay, growth status. Let me put a few of these ceilings to separate it. And when it gets like two away from it, oh, well, maybe I need to put one more. There we go. Um, yep, dehydrated. We'll die soon. So I don't know what's up with that, man. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. If you cover the water source, it seems that it doesn't recognize it anymore. That's a weird mechanic, but it's it's there. So I'm really not sure how to handle that except for to just keep it open. Um, but I am going to continue to beautify it. I'm thinking about maybe even a spot like a centerpiece out here with some sort of um, like bridging that goes to it as well. And um, I'll show you guys what the form looks like. I have a variety of trees just because I thought it would look better for the screenshot. But honestly, I'm probably just going to grow whatever's available to me. It's going to probably be this, the, the trees in this area, uh, to tell you the truth, like the ones on the back end. Um, they are a little taller, so I don't know. I was going to encase it with glass. But as tall as these are, the winter trees uh, would be really cool if they wouldn't have snow on them the whole time. It's kind of strange. Regardless if it's snowing or not, I think the winter trees have snow on them. I'm not too sure. Maybe maybe because it's been snowing the whole time and I don't, I don't know yet. But I went get them in the winter biome just to see what they'd look like. And they popped up with white over here. So I don't know. But I'm going to mess around with that a little bit more, guys. But that is going to be it for today. We're kind of out of time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know Squishy did. Yeah. So if you guys did, give me some dab on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off. And we'll see you next time. Wow.